All right, what's up, guys? So it's the weekend. Blake and I got kind of bored. Blake, you want to show yourself? That's Blake. So we're getting kind of sick of quarantine, being stuck on base for a few days, and we needed to change the scenery. So we're scrolling through TikTok of all places, and we came across this place called Alabama Hills. Never heard of it. Looks pretty dope, though. Right now we're in the middle of bum. You know the rest. But uh, we got about 40 miles left to go. I'm gonna pound a five hour. We got firewood for tonight. We're just gonna bring you guys on the trip with us. So let's get it. So one thing that kind of gets expensive on these road trips is eating because a lot of people are like, oh, I'll just go to the grocery store, buy some stuff, we'll cook it. But then you get to like that nearby town and you're like, oh, there's the fast food, there's this, there's the restaurant. And so the price starts going up and then you have a bunch of food that goes to waste. Luckily for us, we were able to, we'll call it acquire some MREs. If you don't know what MREs, it's meals ready to eat. And we're going to dig into meatballs and marinara sauce, which is actually pretty good. Oh. You use all the thumb strength you have to get this damn thing open. And then on the inside, you have this package. The meatballs and marinara, the main entree. Garlic mashed potato, cheese spread, chocolate chip cookie. Ooh. Hell yeah. This thing is a heater. You fill this up with a little bit of water. You lean it up against a rock or something. It literally says that. And you just let it heat up. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I've never seen two MREs make such a fucking mess. <laughs> oh my god. That was not as cool as Captain America. All right, but the trick to starting a fire, because a lot of people don't know, you gotta be patient, you gotta start small. Start with Tinder, not the dating app. Small twigs, branches, brush cardboard like i'm using let that burn let that get real hot to where it gets hot enough over time and it's hot enough to burn bigger chunks of wood and that's how you maintain and if you are someone inexperienced in making fires always try to start in like golden hour or at least before the sun goes down so you have time and daylight to get something going you know what i mean but always dig a hole always keep a shovel on you when you're going camping Dig a small hole so you can contain it. Luckily, right now, I'm in an area that's mostly sand, very little brush in the area. So the likelihood of small things getting caught on fire, though I don't want to get caught on fire, highly unlikely. So then you just keep adding small little bits of tender until it gets hot enough to where it can just burn larger logs and just stay hot all night. Other thing, so the kind of like cardboard and paper and the twigs that you're using, keep them at a distance that they're far enough away from the fire so that they don't catch on fire on accident, but they're close enough to where you can still maintain the fire and still grab it and let it be readily available. All right, well, Blake is passed out drunk in the van. Um, and so I got a decent fire going. There's another group of van lifers over there i'm gonna see if i can make friends with them but if nothing else happens tonight i hope you enjoyed the video uh, have a great day